We begin this Monday afternoon with a gruesome crime spree in Queens. Police say a man killed four members of his own family and injured two others. That man later shot and killed by police after he slashed two officers with a knife. And good afternoon to you. I'm Liz Chow. And I'm Joe Torres in for David Navarro. Investigators say the situation could have been even worse had it not been for those two officers. They responded to the scene in Far Rockaway early yesterday morning after getting a call from a woman who said her cousin was stabbing family members. I went to reporter Stefan Kim spoke with the suspect's family. He is in the Eastchester section of the Bronx with the story. Stefan. Well, listen, Joe, his family members here in the Bronx say his mental health breakdown was both sudden and dramatic. Sometimes this year they noticed it. They tried to get him help, but he refused it. So that's why they kicked him out. And that's why he had recently been living with the other side of his family in Far Rockaway. My mom would always say to, like, lock your door. She um, locked her door. Sean McCoy says his family started fearing for their safety. His cousin, 38-year-old Courtney Gordon, had been living in this room on the ground floor of his family's Bronx home. The suspect's aunt in the Bronx says they recently got into an argument because he thought the security cameras in the home were watching him. A few months ago, they tried to get him help. Help was granted, help was offered, but he said he was fine. The sister tried to get in touch with the mental institution because they noticed that something was going on. And they did come to get Courtney to help him, and he refused. The songs that he would listen to is mostly killing and just the behavior in general. I noticed, I decided that he has to go. Then this weekend, he allegedly snapped while staying with the other side of his family in Far Rockaway. Cops say he went on a stabbing rampage in their home Sunday morning around 5 a.m., killing four relatives, including two kids, before attacking two responding police officers. When cops arrived on scene, Gordon was leaving the driveway with luggage. He slashed both cops with a kitchen knife. One of the officers then shot and killed him. Cops found an 11-year-old girl lying on the ground outside the home. Gordon allegedly also set fire to a couch in the living room. After firefighters put that out, cops found three others dead inside. A 12-year-old boy, a 44-year-old woman, and a 30-year-old man. A 61-year-old woman who suffered multiple stab wounds is in critical condition. The two officers were both released from the hospital last night. Relatives say Gordon was driving for a rideshare service, but his car had broken down, so he may have been out of work. He was on medication, but stopped taking it. You can see that the clues of what he was, what he did, um, you just were, you were just seeing it. Like, he would yell very loud at the top of his voice, so it like kind of would bring everybody into this like kind of, let me not talk to him because I don't know if he's going to know what, what, he's, what he's about. Now, Gordon had a prior arrest for strangulation in a domestic incident. The victims have not been identified yet, but the 61-year-old his family here says was his aunt in Far Rockaway who was trying to take him in.